Hi, welcome to third grade music. We are going to be doing a combination of Christmas and Halloween songs today. Um, I know it seems kind of early to be starting Christmas, but we actually are going to be recording, um, hopefully recording a performance of our kiddos uh, doing a performance because of uh, some kids are at home, some kids are face-to-face. Are -face. I wanna make sure that we can record a performance um, that you can display for your class that you can be proud of, okay? So we'll talk more about that soon, but I do wanna get started on one of your pieces. Um, the materials that you need is your shaker that you created, two pencils, okay? They're gonna work as your um, sticks or your rhythm sticks. And then um, soon you're gonna be getting uh, um, a ribbon from me that you can create to do uh, our first uh, movement piece, which is going to be from the Nutcracker, okay? You'll get that probably in your next packet. So let me share something with you. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be doing, um, we're going to talk about form. Form is the the pattern that we use to know what comes next in a song. So A would be the first part, B is going to be the second part, and it's going to be a little different, okay? If we go back to A, that means that we're repeating the first part. So let's, let's review form a little bit. This should be information that you know, or at least is familiar. How to make a rondo sandwich. Yes, the rondo sandwich. Here we go. Three slices of bread will serve as our A. Let's make cheese our B. And now some meat for C. And let's stack it up so we have a A, B, A, C, A. So A would be one part of the song. Usually that's the part that's telling the story. B is going to be like the catchy chorus, okay? So it's going to be a little different. Then it's going to go back to A, telling the story, okay? C, you can probably guess, is going to be completely different. And then A will be back to our story. And we're going to actually use this form um, in our Nutcracker piece. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one mando rondo sandwich, no? <laughs> A B A. I noticed that second part when you hear the music, it was playing strings a little different. A A B A. Okay, you get the idea. So now um, let's go ahead and start our new piece, which is going to be our Nutcracker piece. Uh, you probably recognize this song. Um, I want you to look, one way you can tell which part you're on is if you're listening to the instruments that are mainly playing in this piece, okay? So um, you, the beginning, you're gonna hear a lot of the brass playing. Brass are those golden instruments, right? Okay, so there's a trumpet. So, so far we're still in A, this is all A. So I want you to listen for when the song changes, okay? Okay, so you're hearing a change here. All these brass came in, so we're about to shift into our B section. OK, 
A, notice it went into our B section. Now we're going back to A. Okay, that's as far as we're going to get for right now. So this is the Nutcracker March. So we're going to be doing movement with this song. Um, you will be getting a ribbon from me that you can create at home. Um, but before you get that, I want to teach you the movement. So what you're going to do first is you're going to march. Okay, you're going to march. For now, you can march around your chair or something small. So you're just going to make your own little circle. When it switches, so the dun, da, 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 dun, dun, that's our march. Then you're going to hear where it kind of picks up the pace. That means skip or gallop, and you'll see me do that, okay? When it shifts to the B section, I want you to stop and face. You can face me, face your screen, and then we're just going to do an up and down, okay? Now, if you have a green ribbon or a red ribbon, that's how you're going to know who goes up first and who goes down first. So we're going to kind of see this pattern going on, okay? Um, if, if there's two people, you'd be doing this pattern, okay? So let's go ahead and try this. Just follow along or you can watch the first time and then follow along with me, okay? So we're gonna start with our march, okay? And I'm just gonna move around my chair. Okay, so now this is our new section. So down, up. Okay. Now I'm going back to my march. My gallop or skip. So that is the basic movement. So march, skip, then up and down, march, skip, okay? Um, if you wanna practice that again, you can rewind and try that again. Um, there's more to the song. We've only learned the A, B, A. We have to still learn the C, right? Very good start on that. Okay, so now we have to finish our skeleton dance. Our skeleton dance has rhythm in it, but it also has the, that form in it, the AB form, right? Let's see if we can identify that. Um, let's use our hands first before using our instruments. Let's just use our hands first. So I'll make sure you can see me. We're gonna add some parts to this. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do on this red dot, you're going to do tapping. I'm tapping on my um, desk, but you can tap on your lap or your, de or your desk or whichever you want to do. So you're tapping. We're going to still do the clap and we're still going to do the shake. For the yellow symbol, we're going to stomp, okay? Follow along. Okay, so now we're shifting to our B section, new rhythm, right?
So y'all get the idea. So now I'm just going to uh, add my instruments to that. So I'm going to do tap, tap, clap, clap, clap. Okay. And then still do stomp, but then I'm going to have a shake in there. Okay. So let's start it and we're going to do the whole song. the A and B, but it's going to be a little quicker. Moving on, um, so we're going to talk about your independent work. We're going to do a classical skeleton dance called Danse ma Macabre. So Danse Macabre is a French piece, also known as the Dance of Death. Ooh. It's an orchestral piece, meaning it's all instruments, by the French composer Camille Sanson. So French composer, ha ha, right? Piece is in a minor key, meaning it kind of minor kind of sounds either sad or kind of spooky and creepy. Um, and I want you to think what instruments, the main instrument that you hear, the solo instrument, so the instrument playing uh, by itself. Okay, so let's listen to the beginning of this and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do your monster glyph that in your packet. Okay, you're going to be listening to this kind of creepy, spooky piece. Okay. So you can kind of see it, there's skeletons dancing, kind of creepy. So. Kind of notice it's kind of calm right now and really quiet. You can barely hear it. Very calm strings. Okay, so the, the tempo picked up, it got faster, and then we hear a specific instrument. Do you remember what instrument that is? The violin, that's right. So I'm going to let you listen to more of this piece, but I want to show you your glyph. So this is your glyph, 
And based on the, these um, answers, that's what you're going to color. Some of them are your opinions and some of them you have to actually listen. Okay. So is this song fast, slow, or both? Okay. So I heard it start kind of slow and calm and then it picked up the pace. So is that fast, slow, or both? Okay. Based on that, that's what's the, that's the color that you're going to choose. Green, pink, or orange. Okay. Was, is there drums or no drums? And I'll help you with that. And we're going to listen a little bit more. Do you like the song or do you not like the song? Okay. If you like it, color your, the arms blue. If you uh, don't like it, you're going to color it green. Okay. The feet, do you hear singers or no singers? Okay. His toes, is this a loud song, a soft sound song or both? Okay. So some of these you could already answer. Okay. So let's listen to a little bit more. And I want you to color this while you're listening. I'm going to play a while. Um, if you get done early, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to let this play for a bit. And I want you to uh, color your glyph while you're doing this. Okay. Okay. Where is it here? You know what, let me get my orchestral version. One second. Okay, I want you to see this orchestral view. Okay, it'll help you when you see the instruments. Okay, so you're filling this out while you're listening. Very calm, very quiet. Okay, kind of sped up. So, so far, are you hearing any drums? Maybe a little bit of percussion, but I'm not really hearing drums, are you? Definitely, it's gotten louder, it's gotten quicker, okay? So we've heard slow, quiet, now it's loud and quick. Still no drums. Okay, I kind of saw maybe a little bit of a drum there, okay? So not a lot of drums, but maybe a little bit of a drum. Back. I spot it. There's a drum right there. Okay, so that should be one of your answers right there. It just came in kind of late, right? So um, I'm going to play one more minute. If you want to listen to it again, you can rewind this video and fill out your glyph, okay? <laughs> Okay, so that should give you an idea. If you want to listen to the whole piece, you can look up Danse Macabre 
and you should be able to find a lot of videos with this um, song in it. Um, so finish this glyph um, and send through the remind or send turn in with your packet. Uh, you're just coloring the monster based on what you hear or your opinion. Do you like it or do you not like it? Okay. Um, if you want some more extra practice, you can go to music play online and do some rhythm practice. I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is rhythm racing. You're going to go to musicplayonline.com. So musicplayonline.com right here. And you're going to go to rhythm racing. Basically, you're going to hear a rhythm and see, does, did you hear what you saw? T, 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 ta. Yes. So I'm going to hit yes. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Is that what that says? No. Okay. So you can try that for some extra practice. Okay. All right, guys, that's your lesson for um, this uh, coming week. And uh, please send me a reminder if you have any additional questions and I will be seeing you guys soon. All right, thank you guys, bye.